So it was a very difficult time for all of us. And my mom, um, I wanted to sort of help her get a little bit away, just sort of to refresh once a week. And so I said I'd come with her to an art class at the AGO, actually. And um, I was just really just keeping her company. It was just really just moral support. And she was the painter I was just, you know, attending. Um, and I was frozen with fear, actually, in that first class. Looked over to her and mouth like, come help me. And she's, she was painting away and she's like, what are you talking about? And I said, I don't know what to do. Can you just like help me out? Like I wasn't really comfortable. I felt very um, afraid, afraid of making a mistake, afraid of uh, doing something that people would think was terrible, which seems silly kind of now. But I think a lot of people are afraid of art and of painting in particular. Um, and she just looked at me and said, stop it. Nobody acts like that. Just pick up a brush and paint. And um, I was like, oh, 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 okay. And so I just looked around the room and, it, and I realized that nobody else was really worried about what I was doing and they were busy doing what they were doing and they seemed to be having a good time. So I did that, I just started. So ever since then, really, I just started taking more classes and, and painting more and more. And um, it's, it's been really fun because I've sort of learned about myself and how to just sort of let go of fear and of let, let, let go of what other people think and just sort of be. Sometimes I'm just caught up by something that I think is really pretty or something that I just um, think is attractive or beautiful. And by painting it, it's sort of like drinking it in longer and then afterwards still having that painting as a reminder. So sometimes it's just something like that, something as simple as that. Other times, um, like I do paint a lot of spaces and a lot of like places, uh, in interiors or exteriors or whatever. And those are always emotional for me. And um, like, like this painting here that I did of um, Runnymede subway station a lot. You know, I had somebody say to me, why would you do Runnymede subway station? You don't even, that's not even your subway station. You don't even live at that station. But what people don't know is that's where my parents lived. Uh, we were within walking distance when I was born. My dad used to go to that station to go to work. He worked at U of T. My mom didn't drive, so she was always going to the subway station. You know, my brother would take the subway. He would be like nine years old, and he would take the subway. So th that, that station means something to me. I just sort of uh, try to be in the moment, like after um, having lost my dad, I lost my brother, I lost my father-in-law too. I think sometimes you really just should just be and just be in the moment and enjoy today, enjoy now as much as possible. And so when I'm painting, I just sort of try to do that. 